outpost Cinderella. She was a sweeping and a mopping. Dad got a new um, vacuum, that shop vacuum. It is powerful. Shoot you to the moon probably silently. Um, so we decided to give this place a good clean before Patrick number one gets here. So I'm working and sweating. So welcome aboard. Hope you enjoy. Welcome back to the outpost. What uh, I've got planned to do today is I'm going to try to finish up the kitchen utility area. Uh, I've got a little bit of wire to run, hang some sheetrock in there uh, to start with so that I can actually get the tools moved out of the bathroom and start on the bathroom uh, because that spare bedroom is the last thing that I'm going to do because primarily I've got all my stuff packed in there. But um, anyway, uh, we've got a visitor who's kind of hanging out there um, beside the camera. And you know, every time he comes, he's always bearing gifts. And it looks like he's got a DeWalt gift. I told you I'd be back. <laughs> I know it's been a minute, but I told you I'd be back. No, it's been two minutes. Okay, it's two minutes. Two minutes. Um, what he's got here is uh, DeWalt Impact. Now I do have a Milwaukee Impact, but we've got the DeWalt Impact, and then we've got the DeWalt uh, hammer, drill. hammer Drill. It was a good deal, so we got the combo. Uh, I needed, I kind of needed another drill, a good drill. The Ryobi I have, you know, the battery, um, it doesn't last too long, but this battery right here on the DeWalt is a Hoss. So I've actually got three of these batteries. So this makes four now that 
I've got, if I, this one will come undone. So this was the drill set um, that I had before I got my Milwaukee, and I fell in love with this hammer drill. It is an absolute beast. It's extremely powerful, and it's extremely uh, quick. Um, I also like this hammer drill, and it was just a better deal. We got a, a heck of a deal uh, at Lowe's today uh, buying the combo. Um, this will also hold the flex batteries that I've got. This one's 20 volt, the others are 36, but it will detect that. And No, the others are 60. The no. 36 are the Matebo. That's right, yeah, that's right. Uh, it will accept those other batteries. So. Well, we stopped to take a little bit of a break and make ourselves something to eat. Um, after we eat, I do have to go up there and fix the uh, chickens up because it's been raining for about 24 hours, so they got to have some water and some feed. I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but somebody's bailing hay way down the road, so we can hear that echo up here. But um, yeah, let us eat this up, and then we'll meet you up there at the chicken pen.
Well, folks, we're fixing to saddle up on this plate right here. We've got some country style ribs and then some red and yellow bell peppers with some onion and potatoes. Um, 
we did a lot of running around back and forth to uh, the hardware today, but uh, we did manage to get something accomplished. So we thought we would go ahead now and stop and cook um, dinner because it is getting late. So I wonder how it tastes. What's it taste like? It tastes great. How do you know? Wolf club. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't bad. Mm. How about the rib? Woo! What'd you put in here? Let's see. Spicy. I'll put some of that right there. Habanero. Any of you spice freaks out there that like spicy food or make salsa, I'm on the lookout. You can send it to us. Let us know. We'll try it out on video, let the whole world know what it's like. I do like salsa and I do like spicy food. It doesn't have to be spicy. I do like salsa, but I also really like spicy food. This says extra, extra, extra hot sauce chili habanero. This one just said hot sauce chili habanero. Anyway, I put some in the vegetables while they were cooking. So, give them a little bit more flavor. But yeah. Oh, good. Ribs are good. Yeah. <clears throat> Everything's good. Yeah. I'm sorry, buddy. I wish you could taste it. So we'll eat this up and we'll meet you back inside the cabin. Hey, guys. Since it started clearing off, we didn't know how long it was going to rain, but we knew we had a couple of days. It's just kind of partly cloudy, partly sunny. Um, and we were kind of gauging our camping trip accordingly, but it looks like it's clearing off. So as we were sitting there eating supper, I said, why don't we go find, I need one more post for the front porch because I have four already put together, ready to go. I need one more. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off and run through the woods and see if we can't find another log. I got one that I found, which is right there. I just don't know. It may be be kind of beyond what you know um, I'm looking for we're gonna keep walking see if we can identify any more okay I did identify another one right here which is this one yellow pine is kind of dead this right here is the one I'm talking about. The one right to the left, it just broke off in a storm, but that butt's too big to use. I could saw it up for lumber, but I'm looking for a post. This one right here is the one that I'm thinking about. But we're gonna keep walking, see what else we've got. All right, guys, as we were searching, he heard the water, and you know what he's thinking. He's thinking that we're going to the C-R-E-E-K. Yeah, I have to spell it out because he knows everything that I talk about. Watch this. Smokey, are you going to the creek? Huh? You want to go to the creek? Where is it? Let's go. Let's go. Huh? What did I tell you? He knows exactly what we're doing. Are you having fun? There's two balls over there. Are you having fun? Well guys, we actually did find a really nice log. My neighbor, uh, whose property joins me, who actually bought the previous cabin that I built. 
a nice couple from Florida. Um, he's got a couple of pines that blew down the field on his side, and he said that I could cut whatever length I needed, and that he also needed my help. He had four logs, wants me to cut them up into one inch planks, and I said, I think I can handle that. So we have got the post taken care of. Anyway, we're heading back up here. We'll see you when we get back to the top.
right, we got some of Grandma's water gravy, eggs, and bacon, and hot tea. tea. So I'm gonna say a prayer, and we're gonna eat, and then we're gonna get started on the front porch. Lord, we thank you for this day. We ask that you bless this food to nourish our bodies. Lord, forgive us of our shortcomings. We give you all the glory, honor, and the praise in Christ's name. Amen. Is Grandma still right? Huh? Those of you who eat white gravy, you haven't tried brown gravy, you're missing something. <laughs> missing the brown gravy, aren't they? kind of made myself a makeshift jig so I can cut the top of this post off with a chainsaw. Um, I wasn't too worried about my concrete pillars being even because I had to cut the top of the post off anyway and the bottom gets covered with rock later when I rock around the cabin. So um, I figured that this would be just as easy to mark this. I'm going to do this post, the far post, and then I'm going to pull a string line across and then we'll set the other post accordingly. So that's what all this is. Up. I don't got those eyes like this.
Well guys, we managed to get the post set and cut off and got them seven feet out away from the building. Um, and look, they're all in line and they're all at the same plane, thanks to that jig that we made. Because whenever you're cutting with a chainsaw, it's a little bit, sometimes a little bit rough. But um, this is his first time of working with crooked wood. What do you think about that? See why they made it straight. <laughs> as time went, as advanced technology advanced, they I began... see why they grew straight trees. <laughs> But I told him, I said, it doesn't have any character if it's just straight. So I think this is really going to look good with all of this crookedness once we get done. We'll show you some shots of it here. E bit. Even the uh, sill plates that go up there, they're crooked. So what's going to end up happening is going to be ended up being like a snake. And I told him, I said, what we're going to do is we're actually going to cut, uh, we're gonna measure from post to post. All right. Then we're going to cut and set this one because they're straighter than the two ends. And once we get those up, then the two ends are gonna to have to go on and um, they'll have to come over and we'll have to mark where this one was so that we get a, a good butt joint. And uh, then we're gonna take and drill holes and put wooden pins in at the top to hold them. And then it's gonna to have to get a two by four on the top, something that is straight because when the rafters come across the top they actually sit on top of the two by four um, because they all have to measure exact otherwise what you end up doing when it's crooked you end up having to miter and set each one of them individually and the curvier it is the deeper that you have to go and it would just end up a mess so we do have the crookedness going on the uh, two by four will actually sit up on top of course when it's all burned and stained and everything you know it's really going to look good it'll all blend together but um, we put the most crooked post in the middle and then we've got two crooked posts right here and then the two outside posts are fairly straight so um, he asked me he says why did you put that post right in the center well a couple reasons is the length of the span okay and because so there's five posts right there's only four posts on the timber frame cabin, but it's set up different, you know. And the span that I was going to have to go, I shortened it up, and I've got five posts. Plus, I'm going to have a handrail, and I don't want a big long span, you know, because it would end up being a little, a little weak when I put it up. So I did put because the steps are coming up over there anyway; they're not coming up the front, so it doesn't matter if that post is in the middle of the front door or not. But um, it's the one that had the most character, so I put it right in the center. But anyway, it's all going to look good, I think, once we get it done. Then the gable end, I say the, the end, um, the eave, is going to get a curved uh, fascia board put on it, just like the compost toilet and the chicken house did. So um, it's going to end up really looking good by the time we get done with it. Anyway... All right, so guys, we appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with us while we're working on beginning the front porch here at the uh, at the outpost. And we hope thank you and thanks for sharing all of our content with your family, your friends, and your neighbors. We really appreciate that. Be sure and start following us on our lives because how many prizes did we give away? We gave away five prizes on our live yesterday. So when the next live comes up, I mentioned those in the videos. Uh, tune in there because we just gave stuff away at random. Uh, people were commenting, and we just hit our eyes and said, okay, number three, whatever the third comment was, they're the ones that got the prize. And we give away hoodies and different things like that. So if you're interested, you know, catch our live streams when they come by. But we, oh, also, if you're new to the channel, go by and check our website because we do monthly giveaways there. And also, we're only about, what, 2,000 away from giving away two skill chainsaws. Still. Still chainsaws. Sorry two MS-180 steel chainsaws along with our regular monthly giveaways. So we're not too far away from that. But uh, you can find all the details out on our website. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. We hope each and every one of you have a great afternoon. Take care. We look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.